everybody, it's Neo48 here, and, okay, <coughs> sorry, cough, but I know how, um, I, you know, forgot to post a video about, like, I mean, because on Independence Day, I did go and see fireworks, but, you know, kind of forgot, well, no, not necessarily forgot, it was just that, like, eh, you know, never mind. But, okay, but back to um, what this video is about. So, if you had seen the Gold Cup this summer, like, um, opening day, you would have known how amazed that, how, like, amazing it was. I mean, it was just, like, you have two upsets on opening day. That is an epic start. Okay, and if you don't know what I'm talking about with the two upsets, okay, then I'll, like, break it down really quick. Canada and Martinique played opening game of the Gold Cup, you know, for this year. So, okay, if you don't know who Martinique is, I'll just say right now, it's like, basically it's an overseas department of France. Basically, it's not its own country, it's just an overseas department. And that is why FIFA does not let them compete in any of their, you know, international tournaments. They're like, you're not a country. And, well, but CONCACAF's all like, well, you're an island in North America, so, yeah, why not? Join our tournament. Okay, so long story short with the Kando Martinique game. Kando were heavily favored to beat Martinique, even without their star player, Dwayne Di Rosario, who was left out of the squad, you know, because Kando's focusing on their, like, you know, their youth, like their younger players, you know, trying to get them playing time. But... Basically, long story short, Canada got outplayed the whole game by Martinique. Yes, they got outplayed, but, you know, Martinique, you know, had chances here and there. And then, well, they couldn't finish. Not until, like, they waited until the nine, like, the 92nd and a half minute in order to like score the winning goal which was like it was pretty epic it was like cleared away and then it was like volleyed from I don't know like 25 yards out and it went straight into the top corner and went through like a whole crowd of people and yeah that was virtually the last kick of the game since it was in stoppage time and Martinique won so yay yeah so that was unsuspecting Okay, and then for the next upset in the game, in the Gold Cup, was Mexico and Panama. Yes, Mexico lost against Panama. Very shocking. I know. I was like, really kind of suspecting Mexico to, I don't know, win like, like if I were to predict the score, I would say Mexico would have won 2-0, maybe, because, you know, well, we all know if you've watched, kept up with Mexicans national soccer team that they have been, you know, in kind of a struggle, been in bad form, but I thought maybe after coming off at least a 2-1 win against Japan that maybe they, you know, kind of got things figured out now and they could start doing better again. Well, they ended up losing 2-1 against Panama. How it happened, Panama got an early penalty, scored, Mexico ties right before half time, and then, um... Oh yeah, in the second half, it was a cross, near, it was, yeah, it was a cross, player met it near post, tapped it in, like, with the outside of his foot, goalkeeper got beat near post, Panama, 2-1 up, Mexico, though, with the late rally, but, you know, Mac Panama bravely fought it out with also the help of, um, with the help of, also the help of, Oh yeah, in the in stoppage time where two fans wasted I don't know like about a minute or two of like the five minutes added on a stoppage time in order to help make 
Panama win 2-1, so... Yeah, it was the most kind of... Kind of... Pretty unexpected. I mean, like, if you look at the standings for the, um... Gold Cup... Then... Right now, it reads Panama's first, Martinique's second. Well, but, you know, they're still tied with first, but, you know, Panama have more goals. And then third is Mexico, and fourth is Canada, both with no points. Yeah, if you saw the, the fixtures and you were to predict, you'd probably think that it would go the other way around, wouldn't you? But... Yeah, two upsets. So, you know, that was kind of fun. Martinique came out of nowhere. You know, I was actually going for Martinique just because they were like a super massive underdog. Yeah. So that was nice. And that concludes this video. So please like, comment on what you thought of um, today's two Gold Cup opening fixtures, which, you know, pretty amazing. And then, also, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at HaitianHero48, and bye.